she'll fix you up. If you're a toy, then you're in luck. It's okay, don't be afraid. The dog really knows her stuff. Do, 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 you know what's good for you? The dog is gonna help you feel better. Oh, 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 it's the place to go when you feel a little under the weather. The dog needs nothing to do her thing. Today is a super special day, and I'm so glad you all could be here. We're gonna learn how taking care of ourselves is really important. We'll be learning exciting new skills, singing songs, seeing old friends, and meeting new friends, too. That's my girl. We're going to show you all the ways you can stay healthy and have fun at the same time, because there's so much you can do to take care of you. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something amazing to share with you. If any of our new friends today say the special phrase, they'll get a big surprise. The special phrase is, take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we meet anyone, it's always a good idea to wash our hands. Let's practice that now to the Wash Your Hands song. Wash your hands, wash your hands. Sophie said to wash your hands. our hands are washed, let's meet our first new friend. Are you ready to join me? Come on! Hi, Carter. Hi, Doc. It's great to see you. Want to tell us what you're doing today? A lot of stuff. I'm playing my toys, I had a race, I built some stuff, I drew some pictures. <laughs> wow, you've been busy. I know, I know, I know. Want to see what I drew? You bet. So first, here's my dog, Buster. He's a golden retriever. He's so cute. Then, here is me and my brother building a fort in our backyard. Wow, amazing fort. Last but not least, here's your dragon, Stuffy. Stuffy would love that. Your drawings look fantastic. Thank you. Now I want to go ride my bike and play games, but my mom says you should take care of you and take a break. <gasps> Carter, that's our special phrase. <laughs> And your mom is right. It's important to take a break so you don't get too tired. But there's so much more I want to do. <laughs> you remind me of my little brother, Donnie. One day, he was playing so much that he got tired and needed to rest and recharge. So did his toys, too. Let me show you. Ricardo, you haven't been going as fast as usual. I'm worried something might be wrong with you. You must be out of energy, just like Donnie was this morning. My diagnosis is no vroom vroomatosis. It's when you don't have any vroom or energy, but after you recharge, you'll have plenty of energy to race. Yeah, maybe I need some quiet time so I can play outside more. That's right, Carter. Knowing when to get rest is really important to staying healthy and happy. And after you're refreshed and recharged, you'll be revved up and ready for more fun. I know just the song to show you exactly what I need. Race car can't go fast unless it's got enough gas. A race car can't win win with a sleepy engine. Ricardo oh, race car lost by a lap. It looks like he just needed a nap. A race car can't get a beep beep. Yeah! Unless he gets a good sleep. Sleep on! Oh, a race car can't get a beep beep unless 
she gets a good sleep. And I bet you that green light means Ricardo's all recharged. You sound all better. Now let's see how you drive. Why don't you take a really fast lap around the room for me? Woo! That's one fast car. You have to get plenty of sleep to stay strong, Carter. Carter? <laughs> I guess he took our advice to get some rest. Let's let him recharge while we meet some other friends. Shh. All right, let's see what Bregan and Berkeley are up to. They're right here on my toy sponder. <laughs> Reagan, are you there? Not it! Oh! <laughs> Berkeley? I'm gonna get you! Can you see me? We're both in our backyards! Oh, hi, y'all! Berkeley, hurry! It's Doc McStuffin! Hi! Sorry, we were just playing tag. Time out! That looks like fun. It is. It's our favorite game. Right, Berkeley? Oh, yeah. It's the best game ever. But all this running around makes me thirsty. Let's have water. Looks like you both are doing the right thing to keep yourselves healthy. Did you know that drinking lots of water after you've been playing is good for you? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's called being hydrated. Drinking plenty of water can help keep your body at its best. It also helps you from feeling dried out and droopy. <gasps> that reminds me of a diagnosis I once gave to my friend Lenny the Fire Engine. Dehydrated. That's it! I have a diagnosis! Lenny, you have dried out atosis. It's like when you're dehydrated. Oh, yeah! It's exactly like being dehydrated. Uh, Doc? What's dehydrated again? I'm asking for the Leinster here. It's when you aren't drinking enough water. I didn't know drinking water was so important. Oh, it is. Every day. But when it's hot outside, it's even more important. I'll make sure to drink a big glass of water when we play outside. That's great. Do you think you've ever had a time where you felt dehydrated and needed more water? When we're at the beach, we forget to have water since we're having so much fun. Yeah, when we're playing in the waves mm -hmm. and making sandcastles. Wow, the beach sounds like so much fun. I know it's easy to forget, but just remember to fill up your body with the H2O it needs before going outside. That'll keep you feeling great and make playtime even more fun. I love water. <sighs> and sometimes even juice. <laughs> you know what? Me too. Juice is yummy, and it's okay to have sometimes, but water is best for keeping you healthy and hydrated. Here's how I remember. Two, four, six, eight, everybody hydrate! Water, 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 water. You gotta drink way more water than you think. It feels so humid and hot. water you should drink every day? This much! This much! <laughs> I think Stubby and Chili said the same thing. <laughs> Those are great guesses. But for kids like us, the best way to know is to say your age. Then for every year up to age eight, you should drink one eight-ounce cup of water. How old are each of you? I'm eight, so that means I should drink eight cups. Mm -hmm. And I'm six, so I should drink six. That's right. Every day. You two are so smart. Thanks, Doc. So as long as we drink enough water while we play, we can run around forever. <laughs> well, maybe not forever. <laughs> and remember, it's also important to rest and recharge to stay healthy. What should we do next? Well, now that we're hydrated, let's go play some more. All right, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Reagan. Bye, Berkeley. See you later. Have fun on the slide! And remember to stay hydrated! Okay, everyone.
everyone. Isn't it fun learning that taking care of ourselves can come in handy in lots of ways? And we're making new friends, too. Let's check in on my friend Elias. The last time I talked to him, he had a cold. Have you ever had a cold? Let's see how he's doing. Hey, Elias. Hey, Elias' dad. Hi, Doc. It's Doc McStuffins. I know. <laughs> it's good to see you, too. I've been thinking about you since the last time we met. How's your cold, Elias? It's all better now. My dad took me to the doctor, and she gave me great advice. She told me to drink a lot of water, take a lot of naps, mm -hmm. and I didn't play with my fun so I won't get germs on them. All right. Mom and Dad always make sure I sneeze like this. True. They take good care of me. That's fantastic. I'm sure you missed your friends, but it's really important to stay at home when you're sick. I've had a cold before, too, but with lots of water, plenty of rest, and good care from loved ones, I was feeling better in no time. Achoo! Oh, thanks. Now, you lie back and rest, and we'll take care of everything. I was so proud of him for following the doctor's advice and taking it easy, even if he wanted to play and see his friends. And he was better before you know it. Wow! Way to go, Elias! You did everything right. A cold can sometimes last a week, but you took care of yourself, and you tried not to get anyone else sick. Yep, I don't want anybody I love to get sick with my germs. That's right. And it's great to know that you're feeling better. It's kind of like the time when Lammy got covered in flour on official cuddle day. How about a great big cuddle day celebration? Ooh! But first, Dad's making our cuddle day favorite. Cuddle cakes! Come on! You can add the flour. Lammy has enough cuddles for everyone. <laughs> That's right. I'm ready for the cuddle of the <laughs> I remember all she wanted to do was give hugs and cuddles. But she knew that if she did, everyone else would get covered in flour too. Lammy, you have a case of flour tosis. The flour is what's making you sneeze. Is it bad? I really wanted to cuddle too. I knew exactly how Lammy felt. But I get to spend a lot of time with my daddy. Aw, thanks, Elias. I love you, buddy. Love you too, Dad. That's a great way to look at it. Whether you have flour all over you like Lammy or germs on you that you can't see, it can be hard not to give a hug or get close to those you love. I'm sorry, but you can't cuddle. Can't cuddle on cuddle day? The cuddliest day of the whole year? I know it's bad. But if you cuddle with other toys, they could get flowertosis too. It's sort of like when a kid has a cold, they have to be careful not to spread their germs. I was proud of Lammy, and I'm proud of you too. Following the doctor's orders is always best. It's important to keep your germs to yourself and to keep your distance so other people you love don't get sick too. A little space for a little while really helps a lot. Once you're all better, you can give all the hugs you want to your friends and family. Just like Lammy. They really didn't want to shut my cuddle booth down. And there are some things you just don't want to spread around. I love my friends and I've never hurt them. But giving them germs and dirt is worse than saving my cuddles for when I feel okay. So I can't cuddle. Can't cuddle today. Cuddles are my favorite thing with all the happy stuff they bring. But when I'm sick, those cuddles have to wait. So I can't cuddle. I can't cuddle today. Lammy and Elias, you both did the right thing. And you both got better fast. Did it work? Is my flower ptosis gone? Not a speck of flour anywhere. Oh, I'm so happy I could... Cuddle! <laughs> she just loves cuddles. Thanks for talking with us, Elias. Thanks, Doc. We had fun. Yes, there's so much you can do to take care of you. Whoa, that's our special phrase. Well, thanks for checking on us, Doc. Of course. That's what the doctor is supposed to do. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Doc. Doc. 
I've met some amazing families, and now I'm so excited for you to meet two of my newest friends who work in a hospital, just like my mom, Dr. Maisha Taylor, and Nurse Mark Lee. Hi, Doc. Hi, Hi everybody. everybody. How are things at your clinic? Great. We've been learning all about healthy habits. That's amazing. Mark and I teach healthy habits to our patients every day. It's our job to give them checkups and to get them better as soon as they can. Speaking of checkups, I think I know what time it is. Time for your checkup, time for your checkup. I'm gonna check your ears, check your eyes, find out how much you've grown. Time for your checkup. I'm gonna listen to your heartbeat, fix you up, ready to go. Time for your checkup. It's okay if you giggle. This will only take them a little. Time for your checkup. Time for your checkup. Yay! I love that song. <laughs> Me too. So, I have a few questions for you. Can we do a quick checkup? Sure can. Absolutely. Great. What's the first thing you do when you see a patient? Well, Doc, the first thing that we do when we meet a new patient is we wash our hands. You want to make sure that your hands are sparkling clean and germ-free. <gasps> we did that earlier. That's wonderful. And also, too, make sure you put on a mask and wear gloves so that you stay healthy for all of your patients. You mean like this? Absolutely. That reminds me of when my friend Stanley needed surgery and we all wore masks. Okay, here we go. Let's get him prepped. Way to follow the rules, Doc. Was it serious? Well, he had a broken heart, so I'd say so. But we helped him get better. I'll show you. His heartbeat sounds strange. I think we better open him up. Screwdriver. Look at that. With a broken heart, he couldn't let anyone love him. Let's get it fixed. Pace, please, Hallie. Once the pace dries, his heart will be good as new. My heart must be working again. Thanks, Doc. You're an amazing kid. And you're an amazing toy. Wow, Doc. You did an excellent job. And it looks like you had some great helping hands, too. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without him. And it's super important to keep germs from passing between you and the patient. A face mask helps prevent germs from hitching a ride on a cough or a sneeze and escaping into the air. We gotta keep our germs to ourselves, right, Doc? That's right, Doc. <laughs> okay, next question. What's your most favorite thing about your job? Oh, that's easy. I love to help make children feel better. It's why I come to work every day. That's for sure. I also love the day that my patients get to go home. When I see them laughing and smiling and ready to play again, I know that my work here is done. Me too. That's the best part. My patients even sing about it. He's all better, Stuffy. He is? Oh, he is. He is. He's better. He feels better. So much better. Thank you, Doc, for taking all his ouches away. You didn't feel so good till you fix him like you said that you would. And he feels better, so much better now. Oh, yay, that is the best. <laughs> it is. Okay, last question. What's your diagnosis for when a patient feels run down, is dehydrated, and needs to rest? Hmm, that's a good question. Let me consult my big book of boo-boos. What could it be, Doc? Looks like we've got another entry for the big book of boo-boos. Doc, it looks like the patient has take care-itis. That's when a person doesn't quite feel like themselves. The solution is stay home, drink water, get sleep, and take care of you. <laughs> Yay, that's our special phrase. <laughs> it's been really nice talking to you guys, but I gotta go, I have another appointment, and I won't forget my mask. I better get going too. This has been a blast. Can't wait to do it again. Thanks, Dr. Taylor and Nurse Mark. It was so amazing talking to you. It's always great to compare notes with other medical professionals. Bye, Bye dog. dog. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye, have a good shift. It's been so great being with you today, and I wanna thank all my special guests for joining us. Each of them helped us remember that staying healthy is the best way to have fun. And keep your friends and family healthy, too. Like Carter, with his fantastic drawings and all the other fun he had today. He's 
in a better mood and has much more energy when he remembers to get some rest to recharge. I feel awesome after I took a nap. Now I'm ready to go play some more. <laughs> That's great. Just like Donnie's race car that had no vroom vroomatosis. You sound all better. Now let's see how you drive. Why don't you take a really fast lap around the room for me? Woo! That's one fast car. Megan and Berkeley had a blast playing outside together. And now we know how much water we need to drink. Thanks, Doc, and tell Lammy hi. I will. They showed us that when you run around a lot, it's important to drink plenty of water and stay hydrated, or you might get dried out of toasted. Just like Lenny the fire engine. I didn't know drinking water was so important. Oh, it is. Every day. But when it's hot outside, it's even more important. And Elias, who was so brave when he caught a cold and didn't get close to others so he wouldn't spread it to his family and friends. I didn't give anyone else my germs and I got to watch a lot of Dr. McStuffins while I was resting. I'm so glad to hear that. Just like Lammy when she had flower tosis. Grown-ups call that physical distancing. And I like to call it having fun at home. Did it work? Is my flower tosis gone? Not a speck of flower anywhere. Oh, I'm so happy I could cuddle! <laughs> and a great big thank you to Dr. Maisha Taylor and Nurse Mark Lee. They took time from their busy days helping patients to tell us how to keep from spreading or catching germs. Yep, you should wear a mask anytime you might be sick or you're around others who don't feel well. I always wear my mask. Just like we did when we fixed Stanley the Lion's broken heart. Once the pace dries, his heart will be good as new. Thanks, Doc. You're an amazing kid. And the biggest thanks to you for being here. It's been so much fun. There's just one more thing we need to do to keep us all healthy and happy every day. Everyone has come back for one more visit to sing the Wash Your Hands song with us. Join in, okay? Because there's so much you can do to take care of you. Bark, bark.